And on this channel, we talk about life of a domestic worker in Arab visa. So, if you haven't subscribed, please, I'm begging you. I'm not even doing shakara today, and uh, I'm begging you to support your girl. You know, as you have know, been her by just pressing that red button, and also that bell here huh, beside this where they do grand grand bell. Just put your finger now, free or just subscribe to your girl channel and support your girl growth yeah so guys today's video is kind of a little bit um rant and also vlog and also just to carry you along what is going on and because any particular uh, comment that i saw on my channel oh, yeah so i want to talk about it actually you know I, I when i want to start my channel i speak with my young master and he gave me the go ahead and I started the channel and he has been supportive in so many ways taking me out to have vlogs do so many things giving me that uh, high power spirit supportive spirit that okay girl you got you can do it and even do ask about uh, what is the development what is going on things like that about my channel and when when am i going to be uh, monetized things like that it was so concerned so it gave me that uh, big backbone and a lot of people think like because you are lucky to be in a good house and uh, the the family you are working with they are doing you so many things so many things that are good so you know so some people thought that because i'm working inside with two guys yeah i don't want to be pronouncing the guys but i like just using guys so but they are my boss young masters and uh, because i'm living with uh inside with man two men and uh they believe that maybe i'm in love affair with one of them most especially my young master which is not like that and i just want to clarify that that there's nothing like that when we talk about uh, love things that though i like them yeah my boss is so ass yeah but uh, that doesn't mean that your girl fall in love with them or is in secret or affair nothing like that and uh, if you want to know the special announcement i will be announced in this video kindly watch to the end and see what actually happened and what am i announcing Am I going back to Nigeria? Did I got proposed? Am I actually dating my boss? You are going to know at the end of this video. And also, I have a vaccination appointment uh, in few in yeah in few weeks ago, and uh, I actually I missed my appointment because the actually date the actual day that I have to visit my doctor for the appointment according to the message they sent to me on phone i didn't go there all because the person who's supposed to take me out doesn't have time he has a busy schedule so we are just pushing 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 the their appointments and it's almost up to a month by the time i got to the hospital i'll be showing you the clip where we are going to the hospital so i went to the hospital with my big sis when she came for visitation and uh, when we get there, I was told that there's no vaccine again. It's not available. We are supposed to receive it. And it wasn't funny. I was like, so am I going to wait for another month or another week to, to come? According to my set, and another two, two weeks to come. And um, so my big sis asked them that, is there no other option? So we're just directed to an, an one office. We got there. They told us the same thing that they don't have a vaccine. And I'm there for my second dose. That was my second dose because I had a, because some people have already watched where I told you I went for my vaccination, which is the first dose. I had my first dose. So it was the last one to be taken. And I got there. It was a different story entirely. They said, it has finished. I'm like, what is going on? And eventually we were directed to, even that person is trying to stop us. So we went to, Children's clinic. Yeah, I visited children's uh, clinics and they they said okay, they still have some. And I was injected. Yes, I, I got vaccinated. But you know, 
when I first had my first uh, vaccination, I didn't feel this uh, this much uh, pain. Actually, I've watched a lot of video talking about they feel feverish and a little bit down for some days. And when I had my first one, I didn't feel anything. I just took the press. And the only thing I felt was the ham that is so painful that very day. But this second dose, I couldn't lie to you. When I received the injection, I don't feel anything. I even I got home, do my normal chores, and when it got to five, yes, five p.m. in the evening, I was just feeling like, is it the weather or what? I just feel like something is getting too cold. The breeze and everything, the temperature is too cold for me. But when I touched my skin, it was so hot. So when, when I first saw all I said, what, what is going on then? I said, maybe it was the injection. So when I tried to touch my end, the left end, and I noticed that I'm feeling a pain and it's a little bit swelling. I'm like, what is happening? Like, is it the person that injected me, injects the wrong side or what is happening? I can't lie to you. I felt a little bit sick that night. And uh, so the only thing I just do was drinking a lot of water because I have already taken Prastimo and I'm running temperature. I don't even know what else to take. So I just open a big bottle of water. I just drink water. That is what I did all through. And uh, the next morning, and I feel so better. And I don't even feel the same cold or hotness. The way I'm feeling, my temperature and everything just back to normal. Like So it was the, uh, the, the injection that reacted that way in my body, so they are not like, Oh, it's possible to react the way the other people have been saying that when they got it, they got sick. So it's happens to me as well. So that is just it. So I'm going to show you the clip and how it is. Yeah, so that you can see, guys, can you see the young yeah. and larger in job? So after having my second vaccination, we're heading back to the car park. So we are driving back home very soon, so I just want you guys to see it. Let me see the bright uh, weather. Actually, it's around the past 11 in the morning and it's kind of sunny. Guys, I just want to give you a driving tour as you're heading back home because I spent one hour inside that hospital and it's not a little bit easy because there are a lot of queues. Some people are there for their children and all that were also for the same reason that I am there. So this is what it looked like. See the vicinity of the hospital. You can see how beautiful and clean it is. We're heading back home and it's a working day. So just want you guys to see how morning look like during the working hour around 11.30 to 12. This is how their city look like so busy seeing a lot of vehicle walking up at that or like when you get to our street to oh, ah it's a very boring area that you hardly see people moving around at this time but coming outside and i saw people walking out the door this is a big city and a industrial area just want you guys to see it do you see the sky so blue and uh, i enjoy coming outside again <laughs> that I'm, I have something to announce to you. Uh, uh, I think I need someone to just help me to play music. It's just all about love. And uh, before I say this, <laughs> this thing, guy, I've already told you that it's all about ranting and something, something, something good is coming out of this gesture. But uh, let me give you hints now so that you just understand what I want to say. And uh, the thing is that uh, I want to give a little explanation about a traditional Omani marriage. Yes, which happened that when you want to get married, the man would go uh, with his closest family. I mean, the parents, the father, mother, maybe he has uh, siblings. They will all go there to the fiancé house. As you know that my young master is the last born here and uh, 
is the only single guy in our house so he officially done it yeah so i'll be putting the uh the wedding invite and something related to that shot i'll put it though it's written in arabic you see it on the screen so my boss young master is getting married yeah so i think i've cleared that maybe you have something you are doing with your young master and something like that i think i've cleared that now so you guys already know that my master is getting married yes so i'm so so happy actually i'm going to miss uh, the fact that uh, i'll be free from his room i don't have much access going in and out the way i used to do you know i can't just go there again uh but i'm so so happy and i'm using this opportunity to wish my boss a uh, congratulation on getting his proposal to get married to a beloved wife and i uh, wish i'll be try to carry you guys along how things is going maybe the wedding event and all that if your girl is permitted or i have the chance to make vlogs whenever the thing is been rolling actually i don't know much more about it since it you know we already uh, did one and i know a little bit about the marriage when their lady is getting married but this time around it's man so it's a little bit different so i don't know much i'll just look at what's going on but let's see what is going to happen and uh, this uh this first step it's similar to Igbo tribe because i noticed that Igbo tribe they usually first pay their dowry or bridal price yeah and something like that that very day that they went for the lady family they yeah they went to visit that was same day they paid her dowry and it was then they will not discuss Maybe their wedding is going to be like uh, a little bit or elaborated one and what they want, you know, the marital rights lift and all that. And their contract, maybe it's going to be on a contract or not. They're just, that's what the first step means. It's just like a single uh, family introduction, but it's not called introduction here according to them because they are still going to make a... Uh, a little part that is actually called introduction and that introduction they are going to invite the the both the family of the lady and also the man and also their friends anything anybody they wish to just want to be at their party they are going to have that uh, introduction party and after guys as i was saying so they will be having traditional <coughs> yeah wedding and also the general which is official contract where they will, where they will be putting on where they can and they usually make that one at the hall so that is just that for that and we are wondering why am i standing up guys i'm still at work and uh, i just want to gist it because i was so happy and uh, i don't want to keep it to to myself and also due to what i said someone wrote to one of my video that person actually chats me one on one so that's why i don't want to put it on the screen what the person said that maybe i'm in love affairs with my boss actually the day that i uploaded the uh, that uh water that they did to my country it was then that someone said that that maybe i'm in love affair that i don't want to say it out you know if you are dating your boss and you don't want people to know maybe we just started new or we haven't new or i was just giving my boss a bedroom service new and i know that people want to know about that so that is why i'm making this video so that to clarify your mind and also to tell you that i'm happy even though uh your girl contract is getting closer to one hand and uh the new wife will be here so you can see I have nothing in my combat. There's no cockroach in my combat. That is just it. So thank you so much for watching today. And I see you in my next video. Love you all. Bye.